What if I told you there's an imposter among us? Alright, I say, uh... Among us! Dear God, make it stop! In extreme seriousness, though, I have extreme suspicion on the imagined, with my crosshairs pointed directly at her at this point. We'll get into it in just a second. There's a whole bunch of new leaked quest logs that I wanna show you guys, which sort of lines up with what we were talking about last week with our theories then. Hey, if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and check me out on Facebook Gaming. I would really appreciate your support. And of course, be sure to leave your theories in the comments below. So remember last week when we talked about the Imagine taking the Paradigm's weapon to the scientist to be made despite the origin, saying that he did not want that to happen? Well, she went behind his back. And as it just so turns out, we happen to now have the next piece of the story. The origin has been having trouble pinning down enemy troop movements lately. And when he asked one of the seven to begin a wiretapping protocol, I said, sure, we can get my new best friend to do it. So Looper. Today, you are wiretapping the Imagined Order. Chatter's coming through loud and clear. Oh, these guys are talking about their lunch. Who cares about your deep fried stink flopper platter? Say something interesting. Yeah, they were completely scrambled. Fortunately, I'm hearing chatter about a blimp crash nearby with intact computers and hard drives ripe for the pillaging. What do you say, Looper? As expected, the origin is still being stubborn about the paradigm. Come on, pick up your space phone and give her a call already. Anyway, I'm not waiting for the old man to work out his personal grudges. We are going to set up a direct communication relay to the paradigm together. There. Now at least I can talk to her. The origin says she's a traitor, but in my opinion, I'd say the evidence is circumstantial at best. She might come back and fight for us. And I think that's what matters. I could really use an imagined order access card for my top secret investigation. Why don't you borrow one from a guard and bring it to me? Now bring that card to me and don't get eliminated on the way. It'd be really inconvenient for me. Uh, for both of us. This will be really helpful for a mission that is literally none of your business. You did a good job. Just be cool about this, okay? No one else has to know. Oh man, that's a lot to unpack, but we can try. So at the start, the Imagined is mentioning how she's listening in to the Imagined Order base, trying to listen to anything important, anything that might help them turn the tide of the war. She then goes on to say the Origin is still being stubborn and not wanting to listen to the plan the Paradigm has, even though he knows it's really good. Throughout the whole thing, she seems to have this really suspicious tone, something that makes me think this is somebody who might be hiding something. And if you listen, you actually go back and listen to some of the specific things she said. It certainly does sound that way. Just as she did last week, this week the Imagined is telling players to make sure to keep it on the down low, keep it low key, don't tell anybody about what actually happened and that she's helping the scientist and then you're helping her. So wait a second, are we betraying the seven? I don't know if we are or not, but given just how discombobulated the seven are right now, they seem to be super fragile and just anything could tear them apart. But given that, it only seems like the actions being taken right now are detrimental to what's actually needed. Who knows when Paradigm is coming back? Who knows if the scientist will get busted? And more importantly, who really knows the outcome of all of this and what's gonna be left standing at the end of this season? The voice logs come to you courtesy of Fort Tory over on Twitter and in the replies to this tweet, somebody in the comments said, I noticed something very fishy about the Imagined with her top secret investigation. She's hiding something, I bet. It's something really bad for the Seven. A reply says, personally, I think it's to get the other sister back. We haven't had much info other than what we saw in the comics. That's a good point. If I was near identical sisters with somebody, I would be very attached to them too and I would want to bring them back into the fold. You know, that's family. Man, this is chaos and could lead to some serious collusion among the members of the Seven, even though they all have the same goal in mind, at least presumably, they all want to stop the I.O. They're going about it in very different ways and conflicting with each other, and that might end up just weakening them all the way to the point where it doesn't really matter. My guy Ryder says, so is she betraying the Seven? Not really. She's going against the origin and the Foundation's grudge on Paradigm for the greater good, pretty much. 
They need to unite to end the war, but Origin and Foundation don't see that, so the scientists and Imagined are taking it into their own hands. Who really knows the full story of this, but that's certainly one way you could spin it. You could say they're sacrificing their relationship with other members of the Seven and their reputation possibly for the greater good. But you can't quite say greater good yet because we don't really know everyone's full intent. Like I said, the Imagined, at least in my opinion, sounds super, super suspicious in some of these voice logs. Apparently, Loop is sympathetic to the Imagined Order and losing faith in Sloane and her forces. They've offered to provide us with insider intel. I mean, we can't verify it but we'll take what we can get. Retrieve their data packet from the dead drop marked on your map. We'll cross-reference this data with our existing recon database. Hopefully this intel is real. We'll need every advantage for the battle ahead. Excellent news from the front. We're experiencing a swell of new looper enlistment. With exponentially larger forces, we'll need to streamline our tactics to work effectively. Use these laser target designators to help our recruits focus fire. Laser locked on target, target acquired. I have hope that this new looper enthusiasm will help us win, if they remain loyal. So the origin comes in with a bit of a bombshell too. He says that loopers loyal to the imagined order's cause are starting to lose faith in the regime and Sloan and are sympathetic towards the seven and would like to join. Sure enough, there is a very large enlistment of more and more loopers coming in by the day to give insider info and to fight. The origin is very happy about this in hopes that it can help them win because one major concern though, them staying loyal. I can't help but think that loyalty might be tested at some point here soon. Or are they just pretending to get close to the seven? With IO Blim starting to go down, the seven capturing new territory morale for the IO at a low, it looks like things may be starting to turn for the better for the seven but like many different characters within the game have said the seven have got to figure out their beef they got to figure out their grudges otherwise this whole thing might just turn sour quick is the imagine betraying the seven well that depends on your viewpoint did the paradigm betray the seven in a lot of people's opinion yes but we still don't know 100% of the details regarding what she did. We could get some good guesses, but at the end of the day, we don't know for sure. All of this is happening as the IO is seemingly developing another doomsday device, which we made a video on yesterday. I'm not gonna dive too deep into all that again, but perhaps they're getting ready to use it as some sort of a weapon much like Midas's device from chapter two, except this time I would imagine it would have a very different purpose than just pushing back the storm. On an unrelated note, could the IO be hiding Clombo to use as another weapon during this final showdown during this fight? You know, it's been long rumored that Clombo is still on the map in some capacity, and it's been all or less confirmed in this update because now there is a secret Clombo quest that you can do as well as Clomberry's being back on the map. So is Clombo captured or is Clombo just hiding? It's really unclear, but one thing's for sure, we are probably almost certainly going to be getting Clombo back in some capacity. I know Clombo was a big hit, lots of memes, lots of fun times, and I'm sure a majority of the Fortnite community is happy about that. I love these quest voice lines that we seem to be getting a lot. It reminds me in a way of when we used to get those loading screens, back in early chapter one that would change every week and you'd get a new one and it would sort of help paint the picture of the storyline and what was developing and this is sort of doing that same thing but honestly in a better way by giving more details giving longer words giving everything you might need to know really to at least start putting the pieces of the puzzle together let me know what you think of the origin and the imagines quest log there i appreciate everybody who's subscribed everybody who's liked i really appreciate it keep leaving your theories in the comments below i would love to feature you and now to end with a poem roses are red pizza is made of dough Colombo.